In this video I'll be taking you through how to download and install any software which has been assigned to your Autodesk account. So the first thing that we'll need to do is to go to the relevant Autodesk website. The link for that site is https colon forward slash forward slash manage dot autodesk dot com and that will take you to the current page that I'm looking at at the moment. So to log in, we'll need to use the email address and password which you've registered to your Autodesk account. So this is my email address. I'm just going to select next and the password is pre-filled here for myself. So I'm just going to select sign in. Once you log in, you'll see the home page like so. To see what software you have available under your account, you'll need to select all products and services to the left here, which can be found underneath the products and services heading. And once this page loads up, I can see all the different bits of software which I have access to. So for this example, I'm going to download and install the AutoCAD LT license here. I can select the downward arrow just to the left there, just to get a summary of the details of the software as well. To begin the download of the software, I need to select view downloads on the right hand side. And that will make this window appear where I'll have the choice to download the software for a Mac or for a Windows computer. So because I'm currently using a Windows laptop, I'm going to select this download here. But rather than selecting install now, you would need to select the view all drop down and then select browser download. The reason why we recommend using a browser download is if you selected install now, if that installation was interrupted or if there was any connection problems that could potentially corrupt the data which is being downloaded and if you did get to the install stage you would come across multiple problems whereas with this method you won't have that issue and then I'm going to select browser download and also to give you a tip here just to disable any sort of pop-up blockers before downloading because the window might appear to start the download and it may be blocked by your browser and then I'm going to select this arrow, save as, and I'll choose my destination of choice. And then once you've selected where you wish to download the software, the download will begin and you can monitor the progress at the bottom of your screen there. The speed of the download does depend on your connection speed as well. Now the software is finished downloading, I'm just going to select run. and then I'm going to choose the location which I wish to extract the software to. So I'm just going to leave it as the default and select OK. And it's now begun the extraction. So after all the files have been extracted, you'll get an option to install the software towards the bottom right here. And then on the next page, you'll have the Autodesk Terms and Conditions which you can check and then as long as you're happy with that you can select I accept towards the right hand side and then select next and this window gives you a summary of what you've chose to install and how much space it's going to take up on your computer as well. You can also change the installation path as well just in case you want to store in a different location with more space available but as long as you're happy with that you would just select install. And that's how you would download and install any Autodesk software on your computer. Thank you for watching.